Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are old here, thanks. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you won't forget when I upload a new video. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design something like Dix in Corel Draw. Let's get started. So what you are going to do today we are going to learn how to design a roll-up banner. So I'm going to use inches in this tutorial. Then what the number I'm going to use in this tutorial is 32 by 60 inches. So here I have typed out all the things that I'm going to use, the test I'm going to use, I have typed them out down and the image is here also so that it will save us time. Then I'm going to link all these things in the description so that it will, if you want to make use of them, then you can make use of them. Now remove the outline color, which is the black color around it. So now I'm going to draw another rectangle over here, like this. Then duplicate it. Hold down your shift key. Then you drag it like this. Then you right click. Then that is another way of duplicating then what I'm going to do next is to drag this one up like this then select all together then click on trim then that means I've cut out this one this one I'm going to duplicate it duplicate then bring this one up then do like this so when you drag this one outside like this hold down your shift key then you press this rectangle at the back then you click on trim now delete this one so you can see i still have this one over here, over there because i duplicate it okay then apply this color over there then i'm going to apply another color on this one though i'm going to remove I'm going to uh, power clip image on this one. So then remove the outline. Then click on it and rotate it this way. Then reduce the size. Then bring it over here like this. Then increase it so that it to go out. Then I'm going to bring another rectangle now what you have to do now is to rotate this rectangle then you see this one at the center then bring it over here then you rotate rotate it down like this now I'm going to make make it straight with this one like this you can see so the line is straight now okay then apply this color again then remove the outline color now duplicate this one then I'm going to position this one over here then I'll change the color to this color then I'm also going to duplicate this one again then I'll bring it over here then I'll duplicate it now I'll reduce this one 
so that it won't go out then arrange it in line with the other one now you have something like this so the next thing to do now i'm going to bring this image power clip this image inside this place then drag it here then and power clip then go to edit rotate it a bit like this then you drag it this way So now that we have this, then select it all, right click, then and power clip inside. Then I'm going to use this one as the logo. Okay. Now, select your ellipse tool and draw a cycle like this, then duplicate it, then make this one a white color because we are going to power clip inside this one. Then. This one you apply this color, then select the both of them and right click here to remove the outline color. Now I'm going to reduce the size this way and bring it here. Then duplicate it, Ctrl R, then you have something like this, now I have something like this, then I'm going to draw another rent angle over here, then apply the color, then remove the outline color. Bring this one down. Okay. Then select all, all of them, press C for center alignment. Now you can scale it out. Okay, then I'm going to uh, clip this image inside.
use your right click to drag then when you see this like this then you release your hand then you power clip double click then edit Alright, finish the editing, then the same thing, Alright, so now we are done with the with this one. So the next thing to do now bring your test. You bring your test now. Then I'm going to position this one over here. Then apply white color. Shift page up. Then to bring it forward. Then this one, then you bring it also. So this is it. All right. Then this one, I'm going to bring this one over here. Control page up to bring it up, then apply white color, reduce the size, then hold down your shift key, then you press this one, press C, then to apply center alignment, then you have something like this. Now, the last thing is this one. That is the contact address and the email control page up to bring it forward. Okay. Um, black. No, I think this place is the best position to keep it. All right. Now, here I'm going to. Okay, let me put number here. No, this is not a read a real number. I just put a number over there. Then also address. I will enter address. Um, number twelve Cairo. Number twelve. Cairo Street. Abuja. Nigeria. Okay, something like this. Abuja. Okay. I will move this one up a bit then 
take it up like this all right now i will also duplicate this one then i like it Control a enter your email address let me use something like uh, JoW. Okay, Joe Graphs. Dot com. Something. Uh, sorry. At Gmail. dot com so now you have something like this i'm going to drag this one back a bit so that i will have space here like this okay now website then something like this okay dot com so that is it so now you have something like this then select it all then drag it like this so that you will have a space okay then this one I'm going to position it like this i will scale these two out a bit okay now i have something like this okay Space now, all right. Then I will apply a white color over there, remove the outline so to separate the two. Then select the, the two then press c for center alignment all right so you have something like this so thank you very much for coming back so please remember to subscribe make a comment and share